Hi, my name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. And today we're going to show you how you can use Nutanix Move to move VMs to and from Amazon AWS. So let's log into Move and get started. Now that you're logged in, you will need to set up your Amazon environment. Click Add Environments in the upper left and choose Amazon Web Services. You will need to name this environment and have your AWS Access Key ID and AWS Secret Access Key from your AWS Administrator. And if you haven't already done it, you will need to add your Nutanix cluster. Same as with the AWS environment, you will need to name it. You will need the cluster virtual IP address and a user that has cluster admin rights to that cluster. Now that we have both environments set up, we can create a new migration plan by clicking in the upper right. You will need to give this migration plan a name. We are going to go from Nutanix to AWS. So choose your Nutanix cluster as your source and AWS as your target. Be sure to choose the correct region for your AWS environment and click Next. Then select the VM or VMs you want to migrate, then click Next. You then choose the AWS target network and click Next there as well. If you have administrative rights to the servers you are migrating, you can choose Automatic Preparation Mode. Otherwise, you can choose Manual and give the script to the server admin to run locally. You also have the option to choose data seeding in the lower left if you need to schedule the time to start the migration. With automatic preparation selected, we are going to click Next. Move will now log into the server, install the Nutanix Guest tool, and run scripts to remember the IP if you are using a static IP. This process will take a few minutes to complete, and through the magic of video editing we sped it up. Once that is completed, you can choose Save and start the data seeding. You can hover over the In Progress selection to see the progress of the migration. Once it says Ready to Cut Over, you can start the migration by selecting the VM and choosing Cut Over. A screen will pop up that tells you what happens when the cutover is started. You can then choose Continue to start the process. The cutover time is an estimate. Move will sync data every 10 minutes to make this as quick as possible. However, when going to Amazon, your internet bandwidth will play a big part in how long it takes to migrate. With the magic of video editing, we have sped up this process, but you will see the steps it takes during the cutover. Once the View Target VM comes up on the status, the cutover is complete. You can click on that to take you to your Amazon console. Once the VM shows running, you can log in and see if the migration was successful. We are going to log in via RDP to see if this VM migrated successfully. I was able to log in, and the data is on the C drive, so it looks like the migration was successful. Now we're going to open up the Prism console on the Nutanix cluster where the VM was migrated from. You can see the changes in the description made by Move to tell you that it was moved to AWS and on what date. This is a great way to let someone know that this VM has already been migrated by Move and that it should not be powered on. Now let's see how this works from AWS to AHV. The setup is pretty much the same. Create a new migration plan, except choose AWS as the source and AOS as the target. The target new cluster can be running Nutanix AHV or ESXi. Select the target storage container where you want the VMs to live, then click Next. Just like before, we choose the VM or VMs we want to migrate, then click Next. On the network screen, you can choose your target network like before, but in Move 3.5, we introduce the ability to test a migration. To use this feature, you need to have an isolated network as a target for testing. This is an optional setting, and when you have finished setting up your network, you can click Next. After Move has verified the target cluster has enough resources, Move will deploy a lightweight agent VM to your AWS instance. From here it is the same as before. You can choose manual or automatic preparation. Once the preparation is complete, choose save and close to start the data migration. Once the VM is ready for cutover, you have a couple of options. If you set up a test network, you can create a test VM now. This will not make any changes on the source VM in AWS. I would recommend doing this when coming out of AWS, as this will give you a more accurate estimate of downtime while the migration is in progress. For this video, we are not going to do a test migration and go ahead and do a regular cutover. The process is the same as before. The source VM will be powered off and the data will be synced between them. Through the magic of video editing, once again, we did speed up this video. This process took about 10 or 15 minutes for the final data sync to get the VM migrated out of AWS. When the view target VM appears under details, the VM is powered on in the target cluster and ready to use. Move will clean up any snapshots in AWS in the background, but the VM is ready to use. As shown in our Prism element, the VM is powered on, has an IP address, and has booted successfully. If we look in our AC2 console in AWS, we can see that the source VM is turned off. The agent VM that Move used to move data between Move and AWS is still powered on. The agent VM will be powered off when you delete the migration plan. 
Now that we have done that in Move, you can see that the Agent VM is powered off. And that is a successful migration. Move is currently free for all Nutanix customers, and you can download it and find more information about Move in the Nutanix support portal. Thank you for watching.